Hi guys, Deep Toonster here again. Welcome back to Let's Play Minish Cap. There's how the digging mitts work. Nice intro to this video here. I, I was kind of thinking like you'd go underground, but I guess it's just going brute force through everything. I don't think... I mean, I'm so tempted to just destroy every single block on every single screen here. To look for secrets and such, because you know there are some. And probably I can just rely on the compass for that. But I'm not going to do that. So, yeah. Saving you guys a bit of time there for nothing. Okay, so there's more rooms like that, so we got a little bit of digging to do. That's probably what this episode's gonna be focused on. Digging and maybe hopefully getting to the boss. That'd be nice. So where should we go? There is that room over to the right. Uh, yeah. Because I couldn't get past there because there was a bunch of that digging stuff I couldn't do. So we're going to take a quick trip back over there. I wish I would have taken that door on the left first then, I guess, but I didn't really waste too much time here, so... Still not quite sure why I want to be tiny over here, but maybe we'll find out. Hopefully we'll find out. We better find out! We're not going to beat the dungeon if we don't! Uh, that wasn't the right way, I don't think. Wait, maybe it was. This is in there a section that brings you down? Yeah, okay. More floor masters. I can't get over how weird these guys look in this game. I mean, I like it, it's just weird. Oh, and I see I hit my max rupee total again. So I'm gonna have to find another wallet, maybe, or just find something to spend these rupees on. A bunch of these worm guys. Much like the third boss in The Link to the Past. There we go. So I'm just gonna slowly make my way over to this ladder. Oops, I don't know why I'm going back here and killing this thing. It's my syndrome, man. Okay. Oh, he dropped a kinstone. Okay. I guess I've been rewarded for going back and killing him. How nice. That one I will ignore, though. Let's just climb up here and see what awaits us. I mean, obviously it... Oh, okay. Wait. There was a chest back on that floor I was just on. So I may go down there real quick. Is this the room? No, it still says I'm on the third floor. Why would I still be on the third floor when I just climbed down the ladder? That's strange, I must say. But whatever. So what other chests are in here that I can... There is one on the first floor. I do remember some more of this digging stuff back on the first floor. So I think how I'm going to get there is just go back over to that portal I opened up. That should be a very quick way to get there. So hurry, Link, hurry! We need that key. I think it showed only two chests left in this dungeon, so I may just very well be close to the end here. Not that bad. I have no idea still why this dungeon is called the Fortress of Winds. Because I haven't seen really anything attributed to wind here. Like at all. If anything, I'd call this, like, the Fortress of Sand, and, well, it's not really sand either. I don't know why I'd call this. I'm not creative. I'm not a creative person, I guess. The Fortress of Bones, because there's a bunch of skeletons in here. Why did I go up here? It's not where I wanted to go. I was just there, man. This isn't the entrance, is it? Oh, it's this room. Okay. Alright. So do a little bit more digging, and that'll lead us to this door right here. Is this our key? Oh, it's a battle. Oh, no, not whiz robes. Oh, man, I knew they'd be making an appearance eventually. They don't seem to be that bad, though, so... It's not like the very first Zelda game where they have, like, 50 in a room and you have to try to kill all of them. Oh, my gosh. Man, I hated whiz robes in the first Zelda. All I got from that chest, though, is a bunch of shells. I mean, I'm happy for that. It has to be that chest right there. So maybe make another visit to the very right? <laughs> That's all I can think of right now. Yeah, I'm sorry I keep going back to the map a lot, but I really value the map in Zelda games. It really helps out when you're trying to finish stuff. It's not this room, is it? Couldn't be. I'm just gonna go upstairs. It's on the second floor anyway, so I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Nope. This will take me to the second floor. One more quick look. So if I go to the top right here... Eh, I'll just take the shorter way. It's probably shorter not to kill him. 
Up there? Really? Okay, I'll go back there. I thought for a second I already went there and couldn't find anything of interest. Well, I found something that brought me back up to the third floor. I don't want to quite be there yet. It has to be something to do with being small. So I might want to keep a better look out there. So we'll go back through this door. I can hit my skulls. There it is over there. Okay, I have seen that before quite a few times. I just don't quite know how I get up there. Is there... Well, I was going to say maybe there was a bombable area, but I highly doubt that. Kill more floor masters. Oh, and there's something right there that turns me tiny anyway, so... Ah, crap! Ugh. I was afraid that was going to happen. Excuse me for one moment. Actually, it's not that far. I don't need to cut, man. It's really not that far at all. Hoping a quick trip won't fix. I still don't remember seeing anything like you need to be tiny to do down there. Maybe I should just keep going up to that third floor area and just look around some more. Maybe I just got too panicky because I was not on the second floor anymore, so I thought I wasn't going in the right place. Guess we'll find out. I guess we won't get hit by floor masters, dear god. Oh wait, there's only one now. I don't even know why I'm killing them. I could just run, I guess, but I just want to get the threat out of the way, you know? Yeah, this door here... Hmm. Maybe you do go up. I don't know. I'll just go back up here and look around. Maybe get hit by worms. I'll definitely get hit by worms and pick up rupees I don't need. But this is the small key room. Now it's coming back to me. I needed a small key to get through there, and I couldn't. I wonder why they have these digging things here. It's kind of odd to have just unnecessary digging things there. Almost to the end. I'm not seeing anything special about them, though, so I guess they're just there for appearances. That room there. I remember that room. I don't remember anything truly special about it, but I remember that room. Man, how do I get to the key? Anything here? No. Very strange. Very strange indeed. I'm just gonna turn tiny here and look around. Just to see what's up. There has to be some reason they would let you turn tiny down here. You can't climb the ladder when you're small. And you can't even go through this door down here while you're small. Maybe there's another room? In that tunnel? Right there? I, do they have a tunnel on the other side in this room up here? I'm gonna go check it out real quick. You know what? I'm just gonna go through. I'm just gonna go through that tunnel. And we're gonna see. There is not one on this side. This is where I thought there might be another side of that tunnel. So maybe that's where I'm supposed to be going. Alright, so we finally have to make that trip down there while tiny. And we got giant snakes in our way. Ugh. That'd be so terrifying. Looks like we got past them okay, though. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I got another freaking phone call in the middle of recording. I hate when that happens. But it's all done now. We can continue to try to go through that hole. I really hope that's what I'm supposed to be doing. We're gonna find out here in one hot second. Or maybe two. Okay, this is a new place. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. What's this button do? Oh, there's my key. Ow. Small key, nice. Ah, these freaking things. I don't care, I'll take the pain. I'll take the pain to go through another dungeon. <laughs> another dungeon. Sometimes you gotta take pain to go through a dungeon, man. That explains why they have this down here, so you can just quickly get to that room where you have to use the small key. Isn't that nice? Do do. I'm liking the dungeon music now, too. After hearing it so much, man. There we go. 
Yes, we can finally open the room. Only one more task remains, being able to get to the boss. Where is he? Oh, I, there's just two things you fall down here? Well, I guess that's what I gotta do. There's the chest, okay. Oh, I chose the wrong side. I chose the wrong side. I chose the wrong side. Be right back. Alright, that didn't take too long at all. I don't know why I cut there, but I did. And down we go. There's our chest. There's our big key. Now we just gotta get there. Just gotta get to that big old door. Where's it at? It's on the third floor. I've been there before to, like, the path leading up to it, I guess. Oops, that's not where I want to be. I don't know if it's worth it to take the teleporter or not. I'll probably just make the trip back down to the first floor. So I think if I just go up the middle door back on the first floor... Well, isn't this the middle door? Maybe down here is where I want to go? Okay, yeah, I think this is it, actually. Uh, we need a clear path for this statue. Which I am doing now. Just push her up. I don't know what this is going to do. Couldn't I just climb the ladder? Oh, it's for this chest. Okay, that's right. Well, there's a nice little kinstone piece. I guess that's worth the effort. Even though I have a crap ton of those, as I've stated many times before. So, align the blocks, get a nice teleport here, and I'll rearrange in this chair as we take on this boss. Uh, or maybe just pick up a few things before going to the room with the boss. This is odd. I think there's a fairy under one of these skulls. Maybe I should just go man mode. What do I have? Oh, I have this blue potion still. Okay, no fairies needed then. Let's check it out. Hmm, it's a very strange object. Going red and blue. Uh-oh. Is this like a fire and ice boss? Like the spirit temple boss? What the heck? Or the turtle boss in Link to the Past? There's another Link to the Past reference for you. This thing's trying to crush me. It's not doing a very good job, though. So what do you think we do here? Maybe it involves the bow. That's my guess. Oh, that's what it seems like. Oh, I don't want this thing to grab me, but I also want to hit this thing. There we go. Wow! Took care of that pretty quickly. This is like an Andros-esque boss, I guess. I don't know how else to refer to it. So we've disabled the hands. Now it's just the head. Wait a minute. Oh, a boss where you have to actually transition for being tiny and big. That's pretty cool. So we're just going to take a look in here. This guy reminds me of those enemies from Donkey Kong Country Returns, the Tiki dudes. Whoa. Oh, crap, no! I'm not, I'm not a plush toy! Don't grab me like that! Okay. So I guess we gotta turn big again and not get... Oh, man. That would just be so scary, seeing those giant hands come at you when you're tiny. Fire an arrow. Oh, crap. Oh, well, I'll take the damage. I do have that big potion, after all. And they do very well at keeping you stocked with arrows in this fight. Jeez. It'd be very hard-pressed to run out of arrows here. So yeah, I guess if, if this is just rinse and repeat here, this is a fairly easy boss. That's really all bosses in Zelda games. Oh, whoop, okay, they're changing it up. Making use of our claw now. What the heck? Do we just have, do we just have to claw our way to the end? Do we have to, just have to destroy everything? going on, really. Oh, there it is. I guess you just have to kind of play hide-and-seek with this eye here. And then let the crane take you again. It's very odd how it picked me up there and, like, put my sprite over the things. It's weird. So what's this guy got? One more hit. He's really not really increasing his difficulty here. There we go. Ah! Oh, crap, I ran into it. Jeez. I've got to run into these guys to lose to him. Oh, here's something new. What the heck? That was kind of freaky. Oh, and here's something else new. Ah, crap. Not exploding spiders. Well, I guess they didn't really explode. They just kind of ganged up on me, I guess. Made me feel all icky. Sometimes that's worse than taking damage. Just feeling all icky. We're going to make this guy feel all icky. By making him explode. Where are you, I? I spy with my little eye. 
nothing yet. Oh, I think I found it. Don't you see that swirling blue stuff? You know you're good. Oh man. Over already? Just having too much fun, man. That takes care of the third dungeon of the game, guys. Moving up. I heard this game only has like five or six dungeons. So I guess you could say we're like halfway there. Heart container. Oh, it's not starting a new row. Yeah, I'm kind of anticipating getting a, getting a new row of hearts. Why am I looking at these pots, man? They're already good on arrows. Man, they really do not want you to run out of arrows in that fight. Oh, wow. This is a nice, peaceful, tranquil place with colorful birds. Come here, little birdie. I got a bird, too. It's on my head. It's green, like you. Like you. It looks just like you, sort of. Alright, enough looking at birds. Let's go to this tablet. We are the tribe of the winds. Long have we lived with the winds. We have mastered them. Now we join them. Together with the great winds at our backs, we head for the skies. Those who come seeking our power must play the notes. Oh, what? Notes? You have the... You have a music instrument in this game? I guess you do. Well, there's another surprise, man. Another curveball. I told you we'd get another one here. Nice. So this is our teleporter item, I guess. Excellent. Looks like the wind element is beyond our reach for the time being. We have no choice but to... Oh, okay. So I guess we can't actually teleport yet. Well, that sucks. Wait a minute. I didn't even get an element there? What was the whole point of that dungeon, man? What? We have to use the ocarina to open another path? What is going on, guys? I guess we'll find out next time. See you guys then. Thanks for watching.